In this video, I'll show you how to get started with regular expressions for your product data feeds. Whether you're building a feed from scratch or optimizing an existing one, regular expressions give you a great tool to find, extract, and format data in a way that's the best uh, optimized for the platform that you're sending data to. So stick around and I'll show you how to get started with some quick examples. First of all, what a regular expression is, is a way of finding a pattern in text. And so, for example, on this store that I'm gonna to use today in this demo, I could find um, the color in multiple places. I could find it here, but let's say I don't have this piece of data, which is the material in, an, in a field like that. So what I could do with regular expressions is I could find this, um, or this, or even something like the fabric weight down here, because I anticipate that on every product in this store, the color that I want is always um, followed, is coming after the word color, or the fabric is always after the word fabric, or the fabric weight is always after the phrase fabric weight. And so I'll take this as an example and I'll paste it into a tool that I'll use to demonstrate this, which is called Rayxer. Um, regexer.com is a free tool. What it does is it allows you in real time to see what you're matching with a regular expression. And so what I'll do here is I'll type in the word color, colon space, and then blue. And you can see that I've matched the word blue with this. And let's say I wanted to match not just the word blue, but a couple different colors. So let's say I've got, just for example, a bunch of other colors in my product feed. And what I can do is I can take blue, get rid of it, and put in backslash word plus. And now I'm matching all the colors, no matter what color they are. So this could be yellow or green. It's matching red and blue. And I could do the same thing with fabrics as well. So let's just make this simpler for the sake of example. So let's say I've got a suede product, let's say I've got a cotton product, and let's say I've got polyester. So I can do the same thing here, fabric, and now I can pick up all the fabrics. And so that's a lot easier than if I were, for example, to just do a search for suede or search for cotton or search for polyester on their own because I might not know all the different types of fabric that are going to be found in the feeds. So I mean, I could have wool, um, elastine could be a fabric, and I might not know which are all in the feed to even look for, but what I can do is without even knowing what colors and fabrics are in the feed to find, I can just find whatever comes after the word fabric or whatever comes after the word color. And so what I'm first going to do for this example is apply this regular expression to a feed that I've built in Data Feed Watch and if you don't use Data Feed Watch, um, I'll leave a link below. You can use my referral code to get an additional 30 free days on a Data Feed Watch subscription. If you're not going to use Data Feed Watch, I'll show you in this video also how to use regular expressions in Google Sheets and in Google Merchant Center towards the end. But first, I'll just start with this example in Data Feed Watch. And so I'm going to go into an account that I've already set up in Data Feed Watch, and I'm in the internal fields. And I'll add a field here called color. And I'm assuming that you've already, if that you know how to use Data Feed Watch, if you're watching this part of the video. If you don't, then you can skip to the Google Sheets or Merchant Center sections of this video. But I'll start here with I'm going to make a color and a material field. And the data that I want is in the description. And this is a Shopify store, so description is actually referred to as body. Let me move my camera while I do this. So I'm going to preview this to see what I've got. Okay, so I made a field called color, and I'm going to rename that new field that I made. I'm going to rename it with body HTML, which is this over here. Let's find one. I'm going to search for, for a product that has the word red in it. Yeah, so this one has the word red. And this is the data that I have to work with. So I'll just copy, I'm just gonna copy part of it for my example. Go back to 
regexer and paste it in. And I can see that my code still works. And let's take, let's first do color. Okay, so I've got my color and that works. And what I wanna do in data feed watch is to find and replace. And so I'm gonna use at the bottom right here, the replace feature in regexer.com, which is very nice. Um, this is going to make it easier to do this in data feed watch and you'll see why in a moment. And so what I want here is um, I want to see what my the output of my expression is. I want to type that out. And the way to do that with regular expressions is dollar sign and then the at symbol. And so what I'm doing is I'm finding this within this text, and then I'm replacing it with, with um, the output of my regular expression. And so, Let's just actually use this for a moment, this list section. So what I'm finding is the color red. And then I want to see if I can do what I did before, where I find multiple colors. So let's do blue and green, and I'm finding all those, so that's good. And what I don't want, actually, is the word color. I don't want this here. And so what I can do is I can take this regular expression and split it up into pieces using what are called capture groups. And a capture group is just anything that's within a parentheses. And so now I have two capture groups, and I can refer to them in here by typing in one or two. And so I'll, I'll, I'll help explain this with another feature in Regexer, which is the details section. So I'll, I'll click on one of the pieces of text that I'm picking up, which is this top one. And then I can see it summarized here. So group one is color, group two is red. I can click on this one and it's group one is color, group two is blue. And what I want to do is in data feed watch, I want to replace what I'm finding with capture group two, which is red. And you can see that I've, I've got that here. So I replaced all of this with red. Um, and that's not quite what I want, but I'll just, for the sake of example, put this into Data Feed Watch to show you what happens. So I'll do edit values, I'll do replace single value, I'll put in my regular expression that has capture groups, and then I'll put in dollar sign two to refer to the second capture group contents, and then I'll tick that box to use regular expression to make sure it works, otherwise it won't work. Hit preview. Oh, whoops. Oh, let's not work on that one yet. Here, let me go back to color, replace single value, dollar sign two, confirm, done, and then preview. I'll hit the preview button here to see. And so I can see that I did find, I did find this. I matched color colon space red, and then I replaced it with red. But what I really want to do is replace all of this with just the word red. And so I can do that in here by capturing everything, which you will you do with regular expressions by putting in dot, which matches any character. And you can see these over in the, the cheat sheet on the left. You can see what I'm doing. So dot refers to anything, and then asterisk refers to um, zero or more of anything. So that's this down here. So I'm putting in dot to refer to anything and then star is um, zero or more of anything. And let me put that in a capture group too. And then I'll go back to this details section to preview what's happening. Okay, so capture group one is now everything before the word color. So here's the word color and there's everything before it. And that's what I've got. And so now I want to also capture everything after the color. So I'll do another capture group with dots, asterisks. And now I've got everything. So I've got group one is everything before color, and then group four is everything after color, and group three is color. And that's what I want. So I'll copy all of this. I'll go back to Data Feed Watch, put this in, confirm, and then I'll change this. I want, I want to get everything in capture group three. So I'll hit confirm. And again, capture group three is this is capture group one, this is capture group two, 
And here's capture group three, which is red in this example. So I'll hit done, then I'll hit preview. And there, I've got red. So let's see if I got to the other colors too. So I'll just search for products that have blue in the body. I got that. Let's see if I've got green. Yeah, so I've got green too. So now I'm finding everything that I want. So that's great. So this is ready for the color. And what I can do now is also find the material. And finding the material should be as simple as just replacing the word color in our regular expression with the word fabric. So let's give that a shot. I'll go back here. I'll just change this to color, or, or sorry, I'll change this to fabric. Fabric. And now I can see that I picked up the word cotton down here. And let's change this to see if I can get every, every type of fabric. Polyester, whoops. Cool, so I'll go back to list actually. And then I'll just look at three. Yeah, so cotton, suede, polyester. Okay, so that's great. So now what I'll do is I'll take this whole thing, this new regex expression, and I'll put it back into Merchant Center, or sorry, into Data Feed Watch, and we'll see if it worked here in our actual feed. And so I'll go back to Preview. Okay, so I see that I've got cotton, but I think there's some other variations in here. So let me look at red. Let me look at the one that had green in it. Yeah, so we're all good here. And so now I'm ready to um, submit both of these to Merchant Center, Google Merchant Center in this case, as um, fields. So I won't do it right now, but what I could do is just make a new field, call it material, and put that regular expression in here. And then I can put the color one back in this top field. So. That's a fast way of doing this in Data Feed Watch. And so now I'll share another example, but in Google Merchant or uh, Google Sheets, just in, for those of you who are not using Data Feed Watch. So let me jump into a Google Sheet and we'll do the same thing. And of course, this is a free tool, so anybody can use Google Sheets for their product data feed. And what I'll do in here is I'll, I'll use this formula. In Google Sheets, you can use a formula that's regex extract and the way you write that is um, so I'll find it regex extract and in parentheses the that which I want to apply the regular expression to will be um, the first piece that I put into the formula and then the second piece that I put in will be the regular expression so I'll type in whoops something similar which is color space and then it's a little different in Merch or in Google Sheets. I have to put in a capture group word plus, and now it'll find it. So this is different from what we did before in that the regex extract feature or formula in Google Sheets uh, it it requests or it needs you to put in a capture group to tell it what you want to output. So I could, for example, do two capture groups and it'll output both of those capture groups into the adjacent cells. But what I want for now is just the word following color. So I'll just leave it like that, leave it like that. And if you need more help understanding the regular or the regex extract formula, you can jump over to the Google Docs editor help doc on that specific formula. Okay, but I'm gonna do, whoops. I'm gonna go back and do, let's do color and then fabric again. So I've got color and now I'm gonna do fabric. I gotta fix this. Refer back to column C and I'll change this to fabric. Fabric. Cool. Okay, so that worked. Um, and here's a, a good time for me to share why regular expressions are oftentimes better than just searching for things in the product data. So I could, instead of using a regular expression, I could have just searched for the word purple or blue 
or red in the feed, or for wool and cotton. But say the feed is so big and you, that you don't know all the colors that will be found in it. So rather than searching for the color blue, um, we can really just find any color no matter what it is. So where's blue? So what if you have in this feed a really uncommon color that you wouldn't have looked, you wouldn't have known to search for? You can find that, uh, so let's do aquamarine. You can find that with a regular expression. You don't have to know which color or which fabrics you're even looking for. You'll just find whatever comes after the word color or after whatever comes after the word fabric. And so this is a faster way of finding all the types of colors and materials that could be in the feed. All right, so that's how to do this with uh, Google Sheets. So the last example I'll do today is how to use a feed that's already in Merchant Center. So let, in this example, I've already got a feed ready to go. Um, if you don't know how to set up a feed, that'll be in a different video, but for now I'm just gonna go back into my feed that I'm using as an example, and then I'll go to Feed Rules, and then I'll make a new field, and I'll call it Color. And then from here I want to, I'm gonna go down all of the setup steps in this rule. So the condition, none, I want to apply this to every product. And I want to extract something from the description. And I'll start just by putting dot star in to capture everything. And I have to tick this search as a regular expression box. And then I'll hit okay to see what I'm working with. Okay, so I've got everything. That's what the description of this product is. Yeah, and so I'm gonna use these. And again, I just put dot star in here to capture everything. So now let me go to regexer.com. Let's start building a new expression. So say I wanna find the fabric in this slightly different description, which is, the fabric's always coming after the word or the percentage, so let's make a couple different examples actually. So I'm gonna have different percentages and I'm gonna find all these with the backslash digit plus to match all of the digits. Um, you can see if I zoom in here that when I just use backslash D, they're separated, so I'm just finding one digit at a time. I wanna find all the digits followed by a percentage. And you can see this won't quite work if I didn't put that plus sign in because now it's just finding one digit that's followed by a percentage. So if I put plus in there, it's gonna find any number of digits. In fact, you can see it down here in the cheat sheet. So if I add the plus, it's gonna find one or more of any digit that comes before the percentage sign. Oh, whoops, and I messed this up. All right, and so now I'll carry on with the regular expression. I'm not gonna use space this time, I'll use backslash S, which is regular, or it's regex for space. So I'm gonna use that instead of an actual space this time, uh, because that's what Merchant Center wants. And then I'll do backslash word plus. And then I'll put this back to, whoops, ampersand so I can see everything. And so now I can see that I'm, I'm pulling out anything, whether it um, is a percentage with two digits, with one digit, or a percentage with three digits, I'm always gonna find it. And so I'll take this, go back to Merchant Center, and I'll delete my old expression and put in this new one. Then I'll hit okay to see what I've got. Okay, and that's what I wanted. Although I do want to change this because I know that in Merchant Center, if I refer to the help article on submitting a material, here's the material help article, I can see that it doesn't want the percentage before the material. So I'll come back in here and what I want to do is cut this off the back of the whole phrase. So I don't want that. And I could do that with a regular expression. I could change the regular expression to use what I believe is called a negative look ahead and just grab this. I'm not gonna do that in this video because it's a little too complicated. And I just want to, well, I wanna make the work as easy as possible. So what I'll do is I'll make a modification, hit advanced operator, 
split and choose, and I can actually split that in half. So I'll use split on the percentage, and this will make sense in a moment. I want to split on the percentage, and then I want to grab whatever came after the percentage, which would be last here. This will make sense once I show you. Okay, so what I did is with the modification rule that I added, I took this whole thing, and I split it on the percentage, and then I took the last part of that um, content that I split in half. And so just to demonstrate, I could have taken the first part, which would have been everything before the percentage sign. But I want everything after it in this case, so I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to last, hit OK. All right, and I can see that I've got what I want here, and it works on multiple products. So, all right. All right, so those are some examples of how to use regular expressions in a product feed tool like Data Feed Watch, Google Sheets, and then also Merchant Center. And you'll probably find that when you write a regular expression, it's not going to work the first time. You just have to do some troubleshooting by Googling um, regex plus whatever it is you're trying to do. So regex space, or you know, in Google, regex space match uh, a number preceded by x, or regex mat how to match a number or a word preceded by something else. And you'll usually find an, an answer to your question on a place like stackoverflow.com. If you can't find an answer, feel free to leave a question in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer if I can. And if you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up and then subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when we release new videos. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful and um, good luck with your product feeds.